when uh -huh. I first uh, caught my case, yeah. I was actually only charged with accessory after the fact. Okay. Which is uh, like a two to six. Yeah. And it's it's one of those things where uh, although it's attached to a murder case, it's not actually like I mean it's a, it's a class four felony. It's mm -hmm. not one of the higher deals, yeah. although it's still serious. And so there was some question as to whether or not I would be charged as an adult. And um, you know, I I, talk, I think I had to talk to like a court appointed. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was a psychiatrist or a psychologist, but um, and that was basically it, like an hour. And then the next day, they were like, "Yeah, we're charging you as an adult." So, that in theory, I mean, if you could go back in time, then in theory, that initial discussion, that initial time, it would have been really important to have really more absolutely advice wow. and legal representation. At that point in time, yeah. very few lawyers in the state actually were in any way hip to um, yeah. juvenile versus adult and so like the transfer hearings uh -huh. most of them most of the lawyers like i believe including mine were basically just like yeah sure okay i guess they're gonna yeah. move it to adult wow. and uh whereas there's actually a ton of stuff that you can do and a ton of things that you can file mm -hmm. and a lot of research that you can that you can bring into it almost like a sentencing hearing uh to to try to sway the judge otherwise because the judge can you know try to make it difficult even though the prosecutor basically has you know carte blanche to do what they want um and now after a lot of the work that we've done mm -hmm. um so many lawyers are are aware of it and you see and and i guess the, and the public perception is aware of it now too mm -hmm. so whereas when i caught my case it was almost a certainty that you were going to catch a life sentence yeah. at the end of it uh, and, and it was guaranteed that you were going to be charged as an adult. Like there was no no murder cases at all that they charged as juveniles after that. And pretty soon it became you know no class twos and then no class threes and then no class fours. And basically after that, the, you know the juvenile system was defunct. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, since then, um, you know the law has been changed. You can't give kids life sentences anymore. Um, Super hard for them to direct uh -huh. file on uh, anything besides like a one or a two, and uh, they can't direct file on thirteen and fourteen, and I don't believe fifteen year olds anymore. So we've just been kind of chipping away uh -huh. at it, uh, because anytime you really get into the uh, details and specifics mm -hmm. of it, the average person is like, I don't think that I agree with just one person gets to decide whether a kid goes to prison forever. Yeah, you know. Um, and it bothers most people, and it bothers me also, that um, somehow people have decided that judges can't decide for a thing for themselves. Yeah. When that's their right. job. I know. And they decided we need, we got to take the power out of the judge's hand and put it in a prosecutor's hand when that's not his job. And so uh, it, it's crazy to me that that's the way that it turned out. And I, we've slowly mm -hmm. getting that back, you know, and uh, it's, a, it's tooth and nail because, you know, the majority of prosecutors don't want to let that power go because it's... They use it now and even then as a uh, like a bully tool, basically, where they can say, "I'm going to charge you as an adult if you don't tell me what I want to know," mm -hmm. and then if that's already a foregone conclusion, they can say, "I'm going to give you the life sentence if you don't tell me what I want to know," you know, and uh, or if you don't plea out, if you don't if you don't make my job easier, and so you know, suddenly you got like when I first when I caught my case, I had six six charges um, when initially. Uh, I was charged with accessory after the fact. Suddenly, I was a conspirator, an accessory, a complicitor, a felony murder, and a principal murder, all in the same case, yeah. and a, and a destroyer of evidence. Yeah. Um, and all told, that's like four life sentences uh -huh. yeah. and several hundred years, um, basically to uh, for for one action, which. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I don't understand how you can be an accessory and a conspirator to your yeah. own, your own uh, action.